Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Journeys Through the Divine. If you haven't been here before, my name is Raquel and I want to give you guys um, a 2019 yearly. <laughs> um, normally I don't lay the cards out first. Normally I shuffle them and give the reading as I go but for time purposes and because I have seven decks um, I pre-shuffled and laid them out. I'm going to put all the decks underneath in the description box so that you can um, see the decks that I've used. Also, I um, am going to put time stampers down in the description box because each one of these is a season and I'm going to leave this video up all year round so that you can come back and check if you need advice or if you want to see um, how it resonates with you or you know, at different seasons. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So um, one season might resonate with you. Another season might not resonate with you. It's all a general reading. I hope all of your, um, I hope you all had a wonderful and happy um, holiday season. And um, let's get on with your reading. Sorry, this is so late coming out, by the way. All right, Sagittarius, you're... Um, theme of the year is first light. So basically beginning a new cycle. Um, you know, in the fall, the leaves die, but then in the spring, they're renewed, right? So this is basically just, you know, telling you that every, everything in 2018, it was, it was like the end. It was like the death all, the end all, be all. Like, Start or for some of you, it was starting to end in um, 2018, and now we're going into 2019, and this is the beginning of a new cycle. This is about you transforming throughout this year and ushering you into a new cycle. Okay, I like to give um, quotes also that you can use when you are in. Um, hard times or troubling times, just a little mantra um, that can help you out and hopefully, you know, you'll feel better. Um, inspire or ugh, you are here for a reason. You are here for a reason, Sagittarius. And, you know, this year you might figure out that reason. You might figure out that reason. Every time you go through a hurdle or a roadblock this year, just think, I'm here for a reason. There's a reason for this. This is helping me in some way, okay? Inspire others. Inspire others, okay? You are here to inspire others. You are very clever. A lot of you are very strong. You're very willed. You, um, like, you're a workaholic. You like to take action. So you're a fire sign, so you like to take charge, Okay? So just keep that in mind as you go through the year, the actions that you do, the things that you say, how you go about your obstacles in life, people are watching. You are inspiring people this year. So people are watching you, Sagittarius. So make sure that you are doing things that can inspire other people to be better too, okay? All right, I'm going to timestamp this, but... um. In the wintertime, your energy is that of Taurus. So you're moving forward. You're charging forward stubbornly. You're getting stuff done. You're not taking no's for answers. You're knocking down doors. You're knocking down barriers, okay? And because you have that energy, this month, January, you have a new emotional beginning. This is a new beginning for you. A new beginning emotionally. Um, maybe there was somebody back in 2018 that you had to cut out of your life. Um, and now you're, it's just saying now in January, you're finally getting over that. And it's like a ah, breath of fresh air or ah, just a nice big dunk in a cool lake. You know, you're, you're getting over it and you're having a new, a new emotion, a new beginning. You're feeling a lot lighter. You're feeling a lot more freer. Um, you're going with the flow of this new cycle. It's making your cup feel like it's overflowing, okay? Going into 
um, February, we have the Two of Wands. So you're really taking notice. There's going to be some, some type of decision that you have to make come February, okay? This is going to affect your world, and you know that. Um, but I feel like you have a flash of inspiration. See that bird up there? You have like some flash of inspiration and you just know where you need to go. You know what action to take. And this is you going forward and taking that action, taking what you need to do to put you on the right path in your life. Okay. This is you. This is a good energy to be in because this is very inspiring to others. Okay. Because you are making your decision and you're going for it. You're charging for it. <laughs> come, um, yeah, see, come March, we have the strength card. We have the strength card. So you are looking strong towards other people. People are looking at you as a symbol of strength, as a symbol of courage, as somebody that goes for their goals, that charges through their goals. Bulls are strong as well. So this is, this is really you bulldozing your life and making, clearing a path for a better, for a better way, okay? There might be something you have to use your strength for in March. There might be some type of opposition that you're going to have to call on your strength for. But you have the strength to do it. What's connecting all of these cards? Yeah, see, right here, the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> oh my God, Sag, this is awesome, okay? This is somebody that um, has all the means that they need, has the and they're grounded. Okay, they know they they show they might come off rich and snobby towards other people, but it's just because they have the wisdom, they have the knowledge, they know how to use things in their environment in a good way, not in a manipulative way, not in a um bad way, but they know how to nurture and they know how to make their environments better. So that's how you're coming off towards people. And mixed with the strength card, you're really getting recognized. People are really watching you. You're inspiring others. This is why you are here, okay? They're really watching you in the wintertime, watching you the person that you're trying to become. And a lot of them, it's inspiring. They want to do it too. The advice, yes, the chariot. The chariot. Moving on, okay? Moving on in a good direction. Having clarity, knowing that where you're going when things are dark, okay? It's dark, but you're still moving forward, okay? You have a plan. You have a goal set in mind, and you're going for it. You're going for it full steam, full steam with this Taurus energy. All right, going into the springtime, you have the energy of Aquarius, now, this can be a good energy to be in because, you know, you're going to be a lot more smarter, a lot more wiser. You're already clever as it is, but this just could be you doing research, wanting to find out or learn more on something or someone or somebody doing your own investigating on people. Um, the only thing I want, I advise against, and I always advise against like certain, there's good and bad energies to every sign. But I feel like I do need to, um, I feel like I have to say this for the springtime, is that you don't want to come off snobby. You don't want to come off as a know-it-all or cold. So make sure you're not doing that, okay? Come uh, April, we have the three of, um, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. And that's basically just saying you're operating on your own and you're not taking any advice from anybody and you're kind of fighting the main plan, maybe the main plan for your life, okay? This is your cycle. You don't want to be stuck in that. This is your new cycle. You don't want to be stuck in that type of energy and, 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 and doing those types of things. So just watch being a know-it-all. This also could say that somebody from your environment is being a know-it-all towards you and they're um, not taking your advice and they're not, um, they're going against the plan that you guys have put in motion. But I really do feel like it's you. I have a strong feeling that it's you. 
Um, for some of you, it might not be you, and it might res resonate the other way, but I really feel like it's you here. So you really want to watch how you're coming off to people here, and you really want to still stay open to other people's ideas. Okay, so moving on, in, in May, we have um, the High Priestess, intuition. Using your intuition, um, some secrets might come out about other people, and they might come out to you and only you. Maybe they, maybe these people want you to keep a secret for them. Um, use your intuition on that. Should you tell it? Shouldn't you tell it? Use your intuition, not your head. Okay. If you use your head, it could steer you wrong because you've got so much of this Aquarius energy going on. Um, I do feel like um, if maybe your intuition is telling you you need to listen to your intuition more in uh, May because there is something you need to know that you're denying or you don't want to see. So it's saying, please be open and listen to your intuition. Maybe there's a secret about somebody in your environment that it, it directly affects you. So you need to find out what that secret is. Just listen to your intuition. Your intuition will guide you the right way. Okay, so we got the Ten of Wands in June. That's the end of a burdensome cycle, but it means that you have to put just a little bit more, at, like one more action. You have to do one more thing, and then all those wands can be dropped. Okay? So, um, whatever it is, I feel like it stems back from here. So, I feel like it... No, actually, now that I look at it, I feel like it stems back from here. Some action you took, um, you had to be strength, strong for, and you got your own plan going, you need to listen to your intuition, blah, 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 right? <laughs> well, we come here, and it's just telling you that it's the end of all that, that, that burden, okay, that you've been through for the past couple of months, or the past four months. It's the end of that burden, but you have to do one more thing. The clarifying card, I got two of them. I got the soulmate and the page of um, cops. So this could be, and you're the first and only sign, since you are the last sign that I'm doing, you're the first <laughs> and only sign that has had two clarifying cards pop out. So this, I feel, is a soulmate energy. Um, I feel like this is somebody coming in to you and offering you a gift of love. But I feel like, in um in April, you're not susceptible to it. You're kind of refusing it. You're not seeing the bigger picture. You're fighting against it. You don't want to have this offer of love. And I feel like you're fighting against it. You need to use your intuition here. You need to use your intuition here. Maybe this is a secret admirer. Maybe this is a secret admirer that is like in your group of friends that you see on a regular basis. Um, that you have been cold to in April. But um, I feel like this is a secret admirer. And it's going to come out in um, it's going to come out in um, May. I don't know why I couldn't think of that that, uh, that month. <laughs> but anyways, it's going to come out in May. And whatever burdensome thing that you've been going through or been doing, this person is going to help you move past it, okay? I feel like this person is really going to take on what you need and help you move past it, okay? Yeah, so just, um, I feel like this person is going to help you um, with that burden. It's, they're going to help you take the last action, all right? Maybe you... For some of you, maybe you're afraid of um, being with this person because you're afraid that they're going to be burdensome, just like the cycle that you just left back here. I feel like that's that's it. For a lot of you, that's it. You're afraid to be with this person because you are afraid that they are going to put you in another burdensome cycle. But they're your soulmate, okay, and they're offering you a gift of love. This is a secret admirer that you do find in May. And in June, you're still like having a hard time coming to the conclusion to be with this person, okay? You need to take on, the advice is, 
is the, the Angel de la Nuit. Angel de la Nuit. Take on her energy. Okay. And her energy is letting her light shine. She's coming out of the darkness. People are seeing her now. She's shining. Shine your light through all of these months. Let this person see the beauty with inside you, okay? That is your advice. Let this person see the beauty inside you. They probably already do because they're offering you the gift of love here. But remember, you're here to inspire others too. So not just this person, you're here to also inspire others. Let others people, other people see the beauty within you, not the know-it-all, um, fighting against every single plan that's on the table type person, okay? <laughs> Um, Sag, okay, moving down into the summer, we, you have Pisces energy. So you have um, a stronger intuition. Um, maybe you're more connected to the divine. Um, they are one of the most pow or powerful intuitives in the zodiac. So your intuition is, is going to be very, very, very strong in the summer. We have the five of wands for July, okay? So I feel like, I don't feel like this is you because I feel like you're coming out of this energy and you're letting your beautiful self shine, right, Sagittarius? I feel like this is somebody in your environment causing petty problems, okay? Causing pettiness. Could be a friend of yours or a friend of both of yours that's causing petty problems. Um, they could be causing problems between you two. But I feel like this is petty problems and you just need to ignore it. You need to use your intuition and rise above it. Going into August, we have the chariot in reverse. So this, unlike the one up there, it's saying hold back, slow down. Think about what you're going to do before you do it. Intuitively think. How intuitively and strategically think about how you're going to move away from these petty arguments, away from this petty person, okay, going forward, all right? Um, oh, wow. Oh. Man, Sagittarius. Okay, so we got the king of swords in reverse here, all right? So this is someone who's selfish. This one is someone who's cocky. This is someone who thinks they know it all. This is someone, this is somebody who um, maliciously does things, um, manipulates things and situations. Um, I don't think it's you. I really don't. I feel like it's the person that you were dealing with back here. But they're really, really, really in your environment and around you. Um, and um, September. I feel like September is going to be like the start of a head, the start of coming to a head. All the um, stuff that, hold on, sorry, my daughter just came home. Sorry about that. My daughter came home from school. But, um, yeah, so this is somebody that um, I feel like maybe it starts to come to a head in, um, in uh, September, like like they are really acting themselves and really trying to manipulate situations and things. And for some of you, I feel like this person, it's a relative of this person, or it's a friend that you share in common that is being petty over this whole union. Somebody is being petty over this whole union between you two. I don't know why. Um... I don't know why I was going to do October, but let's see what's the connect. Yeah, see? Two of Swords. The Two of Swords. You're not seeing something. You're not seeing something up here. Maybe you keep giving this person chance after chance after chance, okay? But maybe you're ready to move on from this person um, in August, but you just don't know how to go about doing it. You need to use your intuition to remove that blindfold so you can see the truth and make um, a strategic decision a strategic plan um, to keep this person away from you and bringing this pettiness back into you, okay? Your advice is, yeah, see the page of swords. 
page or swords, page of cups, the page of cups. Don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to give love. Don't be afraid to go forward with your actions, but I would wait until you get a good solid plan. Once you get a good solid plan, then go forward with your actions. This could also just be advising you, you know, keep love, do it. Keep love through this whole situation in mind. Keep love in your heart um, when you're dealing with this person. Even this person is very, even if this person is very difficult, please keep love in your heart because you're going to, when you do that, you're going to solve this problem in a much better way that looks better on you than it does on the other person. Okay, and this is going to inspire others. To be like that, okay? To, to go about problems like that. To solve problems like that, okay? You need to... And it's going to be... I'm not saying it's going to be easy. you got to keep love in your heart in order to deal with this person, I feel. I feel like you need to just kill them with kindness. And it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to come up with a strategic plan in August. But, you know, I wish you the best of luck, Sagittarius. Uh, let me know in the comments. If this does resonate with you, let me know in the comments. And if you would like a personal reading, um, my email is in the um, is in the description box. And I'd be more than willing to give you a, a, a private reading. All right. So going into the fall, we have Venus as your energy. So you're embodying love. Now, Venus is, <laughs> is the goddess of love and war. Love and war. All is fair in love and war, right? Right? I guess not. I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> that was very big. Okay. Um, very confusing. Alrighty. But anyways, so you're going, you're coming from a place of love in the fall. Okay. You love, you have self love for yourself and you have love for those others around you in your environment. Going into October, Man, this person just doesn't want to leave you alone. There's the five of swords. Okay. So this person that keeps causing you problems is selfish. They are selfish. They are keeping to themselves. Well, not keeping to themselves. They're expressing their opinion. And they're only thinking about themselves. And they're, and they're fighting and arguing with you every which way to Sunday and back. All right? You just cannot get away from this person. Basically, but it looks like you are using the kill them with kindness here. Okay, you are bringing that energy to the table in October. So come, uh, come November, we got justice in reverse. We got the justice in reverse card. Okay, so some of you, um, the actions that were taken were probably not the right actions. Um, maybe they didn't come from a place of love, but actually I really don't feel like that's you, the justice in reverse. I feel like it's this person because this person's being so petty all through this. This person is being so petty that they're unbalanced. They're unbalanced and their karmic justice, their karmic justice is coming to them in November. So, and I feel like you are going to see that. You are going to see that happen. <laughs> You're going to see their karmic justice come to them, all right? Moving on to December. Yeah, see, December is the Eight of Cups. You moving on to something better. Knowing that the moon can illuminate what's in, hidden in the darkness, okay? You know there's something out there that you can't see that's going to fulfill all your cups, okay? But you can't see it yet, but you're moving for it because you're trusting that it'll make itself known, all right? You have love of yourself and love in your heart for other people. But I feel like this petty person has just worn you down. Okay? You dealt with somebody in 2018 and it's like, dude, I don't want to deal with another person. Again, this could be, this very well, this petty person, this could be the ex. This could be your ex. For some of you, this could be your ex causing problems with this new soulmate of yours. Okay? Okay? This very well could be it. The ex coming back in and causing petty problems between you and um, your new soulmate. So just watch out, okay? You've got a lot of love in your heart. You know, kill them with kindness. You will see their karmic balance, you know, come back into play. 
in November, all right? They're finally, I feel like this is it. They are out of your life. You're walking away from this petty person, all right? Whether you're taking this person with you or not, you are walking away from this person. I feel like you're taking this person with you because you got the star, okay? So this was destined. This is a wish fulfillment for you. This is... I mean, nobody wishes to be in that kind of a cycle, but this is steps to making your wish come true here. This is steps to you finding what you really want, to what you're really seeking, what can fulfill your cup, all right? Your advice is the two of swords. Okay, again, with the two of swords, you need to take off your blindfold. Use your intuition, take off the blindfold. So then that way you can see, you can see where you're going, okay? Because look, they're right on top of each other, right? She's walking towards the moon. She can't see the sun rising, all right? That is you walking away from something that's unpleasing towards something. It's so unpleasant, you're just going because you, you don't want to be stuck there anymore, right? And you're hoping that the that something will be enlightened after you leave, right? This is advising you to take off your blinders before you go and see the whole situation and make the right decision. That's what that's advising you to do. Okay, Sagittarius? All right, so going out of my reading, I wanna give, I wanna leave you with a positive note or a positive, um, little incentive, especially since like maybe the first part of the year went really good, but the last part of the year was kind of shitty. Um, just know that um, from 2019 going into 2020, you're shedding your own skin, your old skin. You're shedding your old skin, your old ways, your old values, what, what you thought was you. You're shedding it because you know it's not you anymore. You're seeking, you're seeking something better. Okay, you're seeking something better. And I have a feeling for a lot of you, it's with the soulmate right here. It's with the soulmate. Now, for some of you, this might be a season of a love affair. It could be that this petty person is your ex. This person comes in to like, you know, help you. And this person is your soulmate and this person like loves you. But you're not seeing this person. You're not seeing this person because you're still dealing with, with the ex, okay? Or this could be you're with this person and that and your ex comes back and is and tries to mess things up for you. But what other way I do see you with this person, and we've got you know that right there, and then that and then that. I feel like you are leaving with this person on towards better things. Okay, Sag? So if this resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. I like to know how my readings um, mesh with people. And if it didn't resonate with you, you know, come back later because you might see, you might find that it did. Or you might find that one season resonates with you more than another season does. It is a general reading. Um, and... I think that's it. Please, 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 Sagittarius, make sure that you are doing everything for your highest good. Um, I really feel like I have to say that to you because of how this year is going. And you are the one that is meant to inspire people this year. So please keep that in mind as you're going on your new cycle. All right? Thank you for stopping by my page. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if this resonates. And I will see you in your January love video.